a brand new product line from Yamaha. Today, Ted and I are gonna look at the CK series. It's their new stage instrument. We have the 88 and the 61 key. We'll be playing through some of the features and talking about what makes this an excellent addition to the stage piano offering. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Check out our new website, alamopianogalleries.com. You'll see one of our nine stores spread across the nation. We do have multiple locations. Come say hi, come check out our inventory, come meet some great, fantastic people in the piano world. And we love to talk piano, so we'll love to see you. Ted, we are looking at the CK series today. You got the big one, the 88 keys. I got 61 keys. Very different instruments in the way that they feel, but the brain behind both of them is exactly the same. We will get into the CK series. We do like to start our piano videos off with a piano fact. Ted, you came prepared today. I, I, yeah, I actually, I don't know if it's a piano fact or just a little known thing about pianos. There's, there's always been a joke about, you know, left-handed piano. Well, you know, after the uh, Get Back series was on there and they kept seeing that grand piano that was in there, of the Bluthner that they mm -hmm. kept using in rehearsals and recording. And I went to the Bluthner site and started looking around and stuff, and there it is. Behold, a left-handed piano. A, so how does a, the left-handed piano work? Well, it's exactly like a regular piano, except it's a mirror image. And when you see someone playing one, it really looks like you have to look twice because you think you're looking at someone playing a piano in a mirror. Because on the right-hand side of the piano, is where the straight spine is and the curve goes the opposite way. And the low strings are on that side of the piano as well. And the literature is so still So if you looked at it from way. like an eagle's viewpoint, instead of it being kind of like a B shaped, it's a D shape, right? Yeah, exactly. Interesting. So your longer strings are on right. your... And when you see... So it plays bass down here. It freaked me out the first time I saw someone play that, the Rachmaninoff piece. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 all up here. Mm -hmm. And it's the high end of the piano. And it's the, you know what I mean? It's opposite. Yeah. The movements look off. And so then I kept looking at their site, and they have a couple of pictures of their uprights, which are very expensive, by the way, with the top and the bottom piece removed. And they actually make a left handed upright model as well. So interesting. So if you are a, uh, you know, left handed piano. A left handed, but you've probably learned on a right handed piano your whole life. It's, something, it's just an offering. Well, have, it would be so weird to sit down and, and play, actually to see the instrument opposite. You mm -hmm. know, not like just rewire this piano so it plays the same way. That would be one weird thing, but to have- In front of you like that? Have it in front of you where it's, or even an upright would probably blow your mind. It's interesting. So they are left-handed pianos, if anyone ever asks. That is the piano fact of the day. Looking at the CK series from Yamaha, this is a brand new product offering, um, kind of combining two ideas. The uh, YC line from Yamaha, which was you know primarily their organ stage performing instrument, so it had semi weighted keys and had draw bars and a lot of effects on it, and and the CP line, which was their stage instrument before, uh, taking those ideas and putting it in a, I would say an ease, a more easily to navigate design, cabinet, whatever you want to call it, but really a cool feature set. And we've done videos individually on each of these, but we kind of wanted to get into some of the features of both of them and kind of showcase how, how versatile this thing can be. Um, and so, you know, there's 363 different tones on the instrument. We're not going to go through all those today, uh, but it, it is interesting when you are sitting in front of the 61 note versus the 88 note, how, how it responds to you because of the key weight and the, and the actual action Absolutely. of the instrument. And so which one do you prefer? It all depends. If I'm playing piano and I'm going like to a solo or to a trio gig, I would want this one because I like having the full 88 mm -hmm. keys. Now, if I'm going someplace where there's a band and they just need like a keyboard player to kind of, I would go with that one. Only because that style invites a more improv, a more open agenda where you have a bass and a groove uh, you know, drum beat, and then probably some feed from guitar or another instrument, and then you're just in there filling out. So you don't need to play a whole lot down in the mm -hmm. bottom. And uh, so it's a different kind of 
sound that you would get. It's more of a live sound, and then also you don't know um, one of the other instruments could be a keyboard. You could get to do a synth solo. You have a, a modulation pitch wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have all the setups in here. But what I like about both of them is just a general overview. They're set up the same way. Uh, at first, you have you look at it. You can obviously see you have your organ connections and controllers right here in your tone. Your draw bars, right? Your draw bars. Mm -hmm. And then you have a selection of, of your choruses and then your percussion for the clicking. And then you also have your um, kind of rotary speaker, fast and slow. Um, I guess can, having it on the side like an old lesson, oh, yeah. but it's the same thing. Uh -huh. uh, and then here, this at first you notice right away, there's you know a three band mixer and three sound engines, A, B, C. And so like you can assign each one to each one. Then when you move over here, you actually have uh, a filter and then like an envelope generator with, so you can control the attack and release and you have cutoff and resonance. Then when you come right in here, you have a selection of whether you want distortion overdrive or different kinds of rotaries and how much. And so they give you a bunch of different kind of effects right there that, that you can control. That's mostly with the Leslie. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of the organ players get this because a lot of times they like a little distortion coming out of the, the or rotaries. Or yeah, the rotaries right. too, yeah. Yeah. And so then on, you have two effects in the next path over where they each have a depth and a, and a rate control. Then you can select between probably what comes out to about... I don't know, 10, 12 different kind of uh, well, yeah, and they, pedals. And when you, when you go through there, they actually have different versions of, uh, of chorus. Like, you know, like you different get... compressors, different. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of different settings. And then the next thing you have over is, is a control on your on type of delay. And then last but not least, you, you have a reverb, which has an on-off button and a knob, and then a type of reverbs. But also there's an equalizer for low, mid, and high. So at the very minimal, if you just start off with, um, say, your grand piano. You got your mixer down. You can set it flat. Yeah. You can just EQ it up. And so there's a lot you can do just with a plain piano. And then you can put effects on that if you wanted to. I don't know what it's set up on this looks like. You can set. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's cool to like you can set a chorus. You know, like you can set the delay on there too. It just becomes lively all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, and then you can set some distortion, or if you wanted some of that, or compression. I like going with the distortion sometimes because. Uh, It almost gets that natural uh, <clears throat> piano sample. It almost starts sounding like a rose. Yeah, it almost starts sounding like just an electric piano. Just because you put a distortion in it. Yeah. And then as easy as turning them on and off. You're back to square one, You're right? back to square one. Yeah, and it's super easy to, you know, to control your on-off switches and, and layer right away. So you're able to quick click on your second stereo and let your, you got a Rhodes and a piano. Well, you could turn one on and one off. And it actually shows you which, which effects are on, on, the, uh, on which sample. So if you, yeah. wanna, if you wanted to get back to A and turn on your samples for A, your drive would, would only apply to A instead of to your B. Right. Now, it's, uh, I don't know if we, we haven't gone into this. This is a, a great time. Generally, the, the A panel is going to be colored yellow. The B is going to be blue, and then the C panel is green. And the same applies for each one of your effects. You can put different effects on either one of those. This is, this is like a very kind of a first thing for a keyboard. So you can have, for example, if you go into the CFX, say you're going to use their, their piano, and there's no effects on it. But you wanted to maybe just add a little bit of delay. So on your effects, not delay, on your effects, say you wanted a bit of chorus in it. And then when you get, you can turn that one off for the time being. And when you go to your, this one here, whatever sounds you have on your, um, on your blue, the effects will come out in blue. Yes. Yeah, so and then whatever choice selection you make on green, your effects come out in green. And whatever one you're checking on to look at. So it really becomes versatile very quickly because you're adding 
which effects you want to on which sound and while you're layering it, which is, I don't think, something I've seen on a, on a keyboard where it's able to, to pick up what you had on each one of them in sequence at the same time while you're layering. And the nice part about it, you could take, say, three of those different layers mm -hmm. and put it into one of your live sets so just at a snap you can bring that sound right up one of my favorite things too is you know messing with the pad samples and then you start messing with the filter and the eg and you get you get to mess with the cutoff and the the resonance and it's the same thing with the lead settings as well you go in and, and get your own synth effects and then even by adding choruses and you can do you can all add delay on so you just get real funky real quick and then as you move into some of the other effects down here it, it gets really cool so it's got it's got low lo-fi, it's got a high pass filter, low pass filter. Boost the mids a little bit. So it's just really a cool instrument to, to kind of mess around with and you you start playing with a different sound and really make it your own. You can save it if you like it. There's a, a live set, so you're able to, hey, I really like what I did with that bell pad. I was able to, you know, get a little bit more attack. I was able to turn on a drive, a weird effect on it. Let's save that because that fits well on this this one song. And then you're able to switch right to, to panel two and save your, your whole three sounds on your mixer and really kind of just get into the groove very quickly. It all makes sense because the buttons are all laid out um, and you turn them on and off very, very kind of rapidly. Um, so I, it's to me, I was kind of blown away with how simple it plays. It's simple. The way it plays, the way it lays out, the other thing is it's perform performance oriented. Transpose button right on top, mm -hmm. plus or minus, immediately shows up on your screen. Plus and one, octaves plus two. big and on this one too. Octaves right there. That's a lot for the synths. A lot of times they... Uh, so all of the control buttons are there for the the expression of a great keyboardist. Not even counting anything to do with the the electric pianos and the, and the acoustic pianos. And you're able to take this with you because there's a battery, a battery Both of them. pack on each of them basically. So you're able to, with double A's, pull off the back. And instead of, we have them plugged in here with their, it comes with a, a power adapter, but both of these are ready to go. Um, with battery packs, there's 12 watt speakers at six watts per side on both of them. So not gonna blow you away with the, with the overall ampage out of here, but it is enough for a reference monitor if you're playing live, if you're playing um, you know, in a studio, trying to get the sounds you want and then running it out, there's a speaker on off switch. So you're able to turn off the speaker right here in the back, really simple to do. Two foot pedals, so if you want a, you know, something that makes it swell or you know, an uh, expression pedal along with your damper pedal. That's something that people do like. That's almost required for the organ portion of this thing because as I mentioned, a big part of the um, competitive value in this, in this keyboard and both of them is that it has all the desirable acoustic and electronic pianos and synthesizer pads and leads, but it also has highly functional, great organ sounds in it that allow for expression with analog knobs. It has the draw, the draw bars, the speed for the, for the rotary or the Leslie, a uh, collection of different kind of vibratos you can have. And then it also has the collection of different organs. There's the Hammonds, then there's the Vox, there's the Farfisa, and then there's the Yamaha in there as well. So it's got all the, yeah, right. So to go. All, all the, uh, yeah, the solid state and the rotary organs are in there. And, and I think to your point too, like using the cutoff and the resonance filter, you're able to turn pretty much any sound on here into a synthesizer. Well, here's or a synth the thing. This is, this is what I was fascinated with. For, for example, I want to go in here. Let me um, turn these off and go straight to the organ. So I have this Hammond organ sound. And so now the speed on. Yeah. what I want to do was put the filter on. Oh, we get some uh, percussion in, dude. 
and then change our vibrato. You can really change the settings. They make like almost a whole new instrument out of it. So really, I mean, this is like a bedroom dream of like a, st a studio bedroom dream. Um, it do it's super versatile. It also functions as basically an audio interface because you're able to plug it directly into your computer, USB to host or USB to device. And then it also has audio ins. So you're able to, if you wanted to run a microphone through this into your computer, it would function as, or even a guitar. You can use some of the, um, the signals of the effects and you can run it out via USB. So it really makes it kind of, foolproof when it comes to using you know the creation machine that it is with <laughs> loaded with effects you know there's there's tons of different you know chorus flanger phaser tremolo distortion compression wah delay reverb and each one of those has its own two or three that are in there that are going right. to be different versions of their courses or their flangers um the drive section again you can add different types of drive different depth uh, you can add delay multiple times. So you can add delay on the effect one, the effects two, or the delay circuit, and you're able to turn the depth and change it. So if you, you know, if you do a little bit of math and you do like an 80 delay and then like a 160 right. delay, you know, there's Easy. some really cool aspects that you can get into, um, and really just kind of make it a, a, a fun, unique sound. I didn't even get to use any of the draw bars. It I'm having a hard time hearing exactly what this is because our monitors are low here, but... Let me change the type. turn the attack tone. That's really fun to mess with the electric pianos and the organs on this. Uh, and then also the pad section is pretty pretty in depth when you start messing with the cutoff and resonance. Almost every instrument becomes something like or synth like if you run it through the effects and any of the in, in the other uh, Fun functions they have on here. Yeah. It's super, super cool. Um, so we have reviewed both the 88 and the uh, 61 in separate videos where we kind of went a little bit more in depth in the sound samples in there. Um, but we did want to kind of touch on uh, the filter base, uh, the drives, all, all the effects on the on board and kind of the layout of the uh, um, The, the live mixer. usability, it's just, it's just phenomenal the way they have it laid out. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, you know, I think this will be one of their best sellers because it's just, it's, it's a lot, and at $14.99 and $9.99, these are, I think, priced perfect. Uh, really kind of offers a bunch at uh, an affordable price range where you can start creating music, you can start, you know, there's no record function on here, but the fact that it's so easy to plug into your computer and get a recording of what you're, what you're going after and really starting to mess with organs and draw bars and then, you know, your resonance and your cutoff, kind of getting in the synth right, world, the right. organ world, um, and then just the, the effects world, the kind of, is you know when when they first came out with the uh, those what well, like the the all effect pedals you know like the effects right, pedal right, that you right, can switch through and try right. everything out um, to me that this is like a perfected version of that in the, in a keyboard sense where you're able to get or a good sense of organs you're able to get a good sense of electric pianos of acoustic pianos of of pads of lead sounds and then also to customize it immediately without having to menu dive without having to find where right. you can change you know, certain small things. It's like, it's all right here with hard buttons. Convenient. Colorful, so you can see the difference of, hey, I'm, I'm messing with my sound one right now, or hey, I'm messing with my blue sound here, or my green sound, and so you can. It's just really neat the way it's Well thought out and well engineered. I think this hits a home run because the CP series before was a little bit more clunky when it came to switching on and off different sound samples that were you were using. Um, so CK line, incredible line from Yamaha. Um, if you have already ordered one or if you are in the process of looking for one, please let us know your, your, uh, your thoughts on it. If you've gone in and played one, if you've messed with it, and if you say, hey, it's just missing this one feature. It is a little light on polyphony. It's 128 note polyphony, but again, these are stage instruments that I run think- Run on batteries. They run on batteries and, and they're, and they're uh, you know, they got six watt speakers. They're, they're pretty loaded 
feature set. I, you know, they're feature full. Um, and, and I think that- Price it, is below what you expect. Yeah, so I, just incredible instruments. I, again, I think it's gonna be a home run for, for Yamaha. We really enjoyed playing the CK series today. Um, this is Ted, I'm Patrick. If you guys have tried them, please leave comments. If you've owned a pre previous generation, maybe the CP series, let us know what you loved about it, what you're sad. Are you sad that they took wood keys out of, out of the scenario? The P515 seems like the only one that still has wood keys on the portable Yamaha side. Um, but CK88 coming in at a great price point of $14.99. CK61, 999. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of these and I think they are, are well thought out. Um, please leave comments, let us know what you guys think of the new CK series and if you're excited to get your hands on one or not. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to check out more of our content. We are going to be bringing you some really cool stuff that's new for 2023 and, and the future and everything that's coming out. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.